it's just when you think you want something you think it sounds good to you you like oh i want this but do you really want it you have to ask yourself these questions do you really want what it is that you want so bad you desperately want so bad in your head do you really want it when you want to succeed as bad as you want to breathe then you'll be successful hey everyone welcome back to my youtube channel my name is nelsie if you're new here welcome on this channel we are all about self-improvement fitness body and mind so if you know me you know i'm always looking for ways to improve my life physically and mentally so today we're taking a break from the workouts and i'm bringing you a video on how you can use this video to change your life and live your best life in 2021 i know 2020 was a rough year for some of us and for some it was the best year of their lives despite of what was going on in the world some people were able to make the best out of it so with that being said I'm going to give you guys some tips on how to make 2021 your best year yet. So if you're interested, keep on watching. Don't forget to hit that like button and comment down below what your goals are for 2021 and what you'd like to accomplish going into this new year. And I don't know about you, but I'm always excited to go into a new year, whether my year was horrible or good. I'm just really excited for new beginnings and just new year new me but let's get into the video okay y'all so if you see me looking down don't get distracted i'm just looking at my laptop because i did write down a lot of notes so that i can go over with you guys i don't want this video to be extremely long but i do have a lot to talk about so if i notice that it's getting long i'll probably stop and make a part two so that it's not too long and i want to keep you guys interested and i don't want you clicking off to another video because I actually really want to share these tips with you guys so let's get started so the first thing I do want to talk about with you guys is not to make a new year's resolution so every single year we go into a year of making new year resolutions like you you probably started in November with your new year resolutions that you're going to start on January 1st but the problem with new year resolutions is we never stick to them 95 percent of people never stick to their new year resolutions and that's why i stopped making them and the reason why we don't stick to our new year resolutions is because 99 percent of the time they are unrealistic and you give up too easily so let's say like me in the past my resolutions would be to go to the gym either wake up at 5 a.m. in the morning every single day and have a set schedule on when I should do things and when I shouldn't and just have my entire days, weeks, and months planned out. And honestly, that is unrealistic because we cannot predict the future. So if even if it is good to plan and have a schedule, but I could have a schedule for the week and then boom, my car breaks down. That wasn't part of my schedule and now that sets me back. So we have to leave room in there for unexpected things because life is unexpected so stop making new year resolutions and just start doing what it is that you need to do stop thinking about what it is that you need to do and just start doing it so for instance if you're in november or december and you're thinking about going to the gym eating healthier going going back to school why wait two months a month a few days a few weeks down the line to do it when you can just start now and get a head start you know what i mean so now that you stopped making new year's resolutions another thing that we do and i can't I t i'm telling you i'm the queen of this and we need to stop is make excuses like excuses feel good when we make them and i'm gonna give you example an example so i had this goal in mind to wake up every single day at 5 a.m whether i was going to the gym or not because i do work out three times a week and not every single day so <laughs> i wanted to wake up at 5 a.m every single morning and either meditate journal and do all of those things in the morning and get a head start on my day and every single morning my alarm goes off and i'm just too tired to get up i'm just like okay you know what the alarm was set for 5 a.m i changed it to 5 30. so my alarm goes off at 5 30 and i hit snooze you know what five minutes and that at that moment i hit snooze 
I feel really good about it. I'm like, you know what? I'm getting that five minute extra sleep. I feel great. So now it's 5.45 and I have missed the mark that I have set for myself to wake up at 5 a.m. And I keep hitting the snooze button to the point where I delete the alarm or I just click done so that or dismiss so that I won't have to hear the alarm because at that moment making that excuse to not wake up because it makes me feel good to get those that extra sleep in it felt good and that feeling that you get from making an excuse doesn't feel good throughout the day it doesn't feel good down the line and now down the line you're beating yourself up about it I'm gonna call you back later okay so now down the line you're beating yourself up about it because that is something that you should have done and you didn't do it so I'm telling you now excuses feel good to the person making them but they are actually hurting you in the long run it might feel good to make it at that particular moment but down the line excuses are what is ruining your life so if you have a goal it is to wake up early like my like myself or save more money and every single time you spend money on something that you do not need and it feels good to spend money on that I'm not gonna say Birkin <laughs> because I don't know maybe you have that kind of money but it feels good to spend money on that extra pair of shoes at that moment because like yo I'm gonna be looking fly in these shoes but that's hurting your long-term goal that's hurting your plans that you have for that money and I'm guaranteeing you every time you look at those shoes you're not gonna feel oh my god I'm I, oh I have these shoes but I can't pay my rent this month you know it's it just doesn't add up so we need to stop making excuses and just start doing it what it is that we need to do. as Anthony Robbins once said personal power is the ability to take action you really need to just stop and take action so whatever it is that you need to do you need to just get up and do it and don't think about it too much because the more you think about it the more you dwell on it the less time you're taking away from actually doing it you know what I mean so it is best to just do it you know just do it just do it it's and I guarantee you you will feel a hundred percent better after you do what it is that you need to do same goals for your careers your business whatever it is that you need to do stop thinking about it. if you want to start a business why are you taking the time to think about it so much and not just do putting up your website doing what it is that you need to do and stop making excuses a lot of times we make excuses and I'm still talking about excuses because it's such a big chunk on what we do we make a lot of excuses us as human beings because it sounds so good to ourselves so most of the time what it is when we want to start a business and we are making these excuses oh well i don't know where to start i don't know how to make a website i don't know people aren't gonna buy my <laughs> we just make all of these things up in our head because we're thinking about it so much but if you most of the time you know i've started a business in 2020 in 2019 december of 2019 is when i launched my business so i've been body by nlc llc has been a business for an entire year so did i sit here and say people weren't gonna buy my things no when i went into my business i didn't think about what people were going to buy until after i launched it and had I thought about it and say, oh, oh my gosh, no one's going to join my challenge. No one's going to buy my resistance bands. I didn't think about that. And most people do. I didn't think about any of that stuff until after I did it. And that can be a good thing. It can be a bad thing. So basically, I launched my business and I didn't say sit here and say, well, I don't know how to do a website. I, walk, I went on YouTube. I downloaded. I started a Shopify website and I watched an hour long tutorial on how to make my website and most people sit here and like oh how do you do it i don't know how you made your website it looks so good like do the internet you know it's just when you think you want something you think it sounds good to you you like oh i want this but do you really want it you have to ask yourself these questions do you really want what it is that you want so bad you desperately want so bad in your head do you really want it because to really want that, you have to take action and prove that you really want it, okay? With that being said, I'm going to briefly touch on Law of Attraction. And I will make a separate video on Law of Attraction because I just love that topic and I want to make an entire video 
on it and how I've been using it to attract the things that I want in life. So with that being said, <laughs> oh my gosh, how many times am I going to say that? So law of attraction is the ability to attract the things that you want in life with positive thinking and by being focused on what it is that you want. So you want to start a business and let's say you are using your affirmations, you are doing it, you are thinking of constantly focused on starting it and talking about it. But the, if you're not taking the action, like some people are mistaken what law of attraction is. Yes, you want these things and you're constantly thinking about it and you're hoping that the universe or God will bring it to you. But none of that stuff will actually happen until you take the first step towards that. Okay, so I feel like a lot of people get that confused on what law of attraction is because nothing will happen until you take the first step to do it. So with that being said, <laughs> use the law of attraction going into 2021 whatever it is that you want out of life out of 2021 or this new year's upcoming whatever it is that you want use the law of attraction for it focus on that thing work for it if your goal is weight loss and you can't just think weight loss oh i'm gonna be 145 pounds by the end of 2021 and not do anything about it you can't just wake up eat whatever it is that you want to eat don't work out sleep until 12 p.m you know and not do anything about it it doesn't work that way you have to leave, you have to actually put in the work in order to achieve what it is that you want to achieve or you will not attract what it is that you want to attract and another thing i wanted to talk about with with along the same terms of law of attraction is the more you think about the problems that you have in life the more those problems will come and that's the, the way the people sometimes tell me why do you believe in manifestation it's not real it isn't it doesn't do anything for you but let me tell you something whether you believe in manifestation or not we are constantly manifesting <laughs> we like we are constantly manifesting whether you believe it whether you don't okay because the minute you think i'm broke i have no money i don't have a car i don't have a house i don't have this i don't have that guess what you're never gonna have these things if you constantly think about not having them okay <laughs> and it's just that the more you think about the problems you have in life the more problems you will create okay the more you stress about something the more you will be stressed about it and that's how manifestation works okay it's not just sitting here oh i want a new car and then boom a new car pops up that's that's not reality <laughs> you know it doesn't work that way so that's what most people think um people when it when i talk about manifestation and law of attraction that you, you just say oh i want this and it pops up no you have to work for it it doesn't work like that so going into 2021 you want to set some goals for the year i know i talked about new year resolutions but that isn't the same you want to have boundaries and set some goals for what you would like to achieve okay failing to plan is planning to fail so if you're not planning out what it is that you want to achieve this year guess what you've already failed if you haven't and we're in december and if you haven't started planning your year and taking action on what it is that you need to do sorry to break it to you you might not you might not succeed in what it is that you want to do i want that most of you say you want to be successful but you don't want it bad you just kind of want it you don't want it better than you want to party. You don't want it as much as you want to be cool. You, most of you don't want success as much as you want to sleep. Some of you love sleep more than you love success. You don't want to wait until 2021, January 1st, when the freaking time changes to midnight to start doing what it is you need to do. Start now, okay? Get a head start. And yes, we get excited about our new year, but it's just another day. It's just another year, just like every single year. So why do we wait until the new year to start what it is that we need to start? So you need to set some goals and have something planned, write down your goals and achieve them. You know, the best thing about setting up your goals and planning is checking them off that is the best feeling you know what it can be as simple as setting up your day schedule for example your schedule for today was to wake up at 5 a.m you did that check went to the gym check went grocery shopping check went to the dentist check 
Picked up the kids from school. Check. Worked on my business for three hours. Check. Made dinner. Check. And at the end of the day, and you look at your schedule, that feels good that you actually got all that things done. Those are minor things, but when it comes to big things, to creating bigger goals, it starts with the little things. Okay, so your, for instance, your goal is to lose 50 pounds this year. And it starts with the little things. It starts with waking up early to go to the gym, or you can go later if that's what you want. It starts with that plate. It starts with eating healthier, making healthier food choices. It just starts with those little things for the big picture. So a lot of times we're looking at the big picture, but no, we're not looking at, at the little things that we need to do in order to get the big picture. You know what I mean? So small steps, baby steps, is what gives you the end result that you want. So set some goals for yourself right now. Pull out a paper, a notebook and start writing what it is that you want to achieve and go back and check them off every single time you've accomplished that goal. Okay, big or small. I wanted to talk about meditation. So meditation is something that I've been introduced to when I started dating my boyfriend and he talked about meditation and I'm like, oh, meditation. But actually, I was interested in doing it because, you know, if my man tells me <laughs> that he does something and I'm like, oh, okay, I want to do that too. So I started doing it and I did it a few times and mm, I didn't take interest into it. But recently I started to, I'm, I started meditating more and more often. And honestly, you guys, it is the best feeling ever. If like, oh my gosh, every time I finish meditating, it could be the longest meditation session I've had was like 15 minutes. That's not long to some people, but to me, that was the longest 15 minutes, but it felt so peaceful. It felt, it felt amazing. It felt great to sit there for 15 minutes and not have a single thought in my head about all the problems, all the things that went through my day and just release that negative energy and, and just be. It, we really neglect just being, just be whatever it is, five minutes to just breathe and release. Just be, it's like we take these things for granted. And I'm telling you now, if you've never meditated, it's just take some time to yourself, turn off the TV, put your phone on silence, turn it off. And just for five minutes, just breathe. That's it. That's all. Don't think about anything. Don't think about what you ate, what you're eating later. Don't think about your date tonight. Just be. For those five minutes, just take deep breaths in and out. And just, that is all meditation is to me, is to just be. So meditate. Make that your thing. Every single morning, Every I meditate at night. I use the, the app called Calm on my phone and... They have guided meditation where you listen to the, it's like a little podcast, you listen to it and she tells you to breathe and you can do it for anxiety, depression, whatever it is that you're going through, you need to meditate. Oh. Another thing is to, going into 21, 2021, is we need to get out of our comfort zones. You, me, everyone. We all have our comfort zones. We all have that comfortable spot where we are stuck in and it feels great. It feels amazing to get home from work and just turn on the TV and watch some Netflix. It feels good. It feels good. Trust me. It feels great. <laughs> so the minute you come home and get undressed, put on your gym clothes and go to the gym, that feels, that feels really uncomfortable. You hate that feeling. Your brain is telling you, whoa, I'm not used to this. I don't like this. I don't want to do that. Your brain does that. What happens is you're like, oh, that was exhausting. I'm not doing that again. I'm tired. Because you're not used to doing those things. You're not used to being active. So a lot of times we start going to the gym. We start doing the things that make us un uncomfortable. And because we're so tired and drained, we don't do them anymore. You give up. You give up so easily and you go back to doing what you feel is comfortable for you. So now I'm telling you to get out of that comfort zone, get out of that mindset and do something that makes you uncomfortable every single day. Even if it's saying hi, hello to someone while walking past, even if they don't answer, just know you said it. Okay. Even if that, if that's what makes you uncomfortable every single day, do it. If it's taking a cold ass shower in the morning, do it because once you've done that, you feel great. 
it's all about that end goal of feeling amazing once you've done something that you thought you could never do something that you thought you didn't want to do even if it's something you do want to do but you thought you couldn't do it it feels good to know that you've done it oh we preach it huh also i wanted to say we need to cut out toxic ties whether if it's a toxic family member a toxic friend a toxic boyfriend we need to cut them out because it ain't nothing to cut that off so we need to cut them off like cut out toxic ties toxic co-workers anything in your life that is not pleasing you cut it out okay cut it out go through your phone delete contacts that no longer serve you people you haven't talked to in a month if you if you haven't talked to someone in a month and they're your acquaintance a co-worker whatever somebody why do you have them in your phone <laughs> okay like delete them go through your messages delete messages that you know you shouldn't have 20 unread messages i've seen people 85 unread messages why that gives me anxiety like ugh, i have to look at them so delete those things you don't delete all that shit delete all that shit you don't need them it just causes more stress and anxiety so cut out those things that no longer serve you, that no longer give you purpose, okay? What I started doing is journaling. So I'm gonna show you guys my little journal. I'm so proud of it. Got my journal. I bought this from Target and it says, yes, queen. So <laughs> you guys, I'm so proud of this little journal. Like I've actually been journaling. Go, I just started. So I've literally been journaling since I bought this and I actually write down the things that's been bothering me. I actually use this as my manifestation journal, my gratitude journal, and I write, I do write negative things in here, but I don't know if I should have a separate journal for manifestation and gratitude and then for negative thoughts. I just write them all here. But anyway, so whatever it is that's going through my head, I just, instead of thinking about it constantly and constantly thinking about it, I just go in here and word vomit. I just write every single thing down that is bothering me, whatever it is. I had a bad day at work. I come home, instead of going to bed thinking about it, once I wrote it down on paper, it was over. Like, I didn't think about it, I felt great, and I released all that bad energy into here. And listen, once, and then I started writing down what I'm grateful for. So. A lot of times we think about our problems like I was saying before we think about our problems we think about what we don't have but we miss we stop thinking about the things that we do have and the things that we should be grateful for there are people out here who don't have these things that you have and you need to take a minute and be grateful for those things so whether it is food you gotta you know if it is it, it takes like, I'm gonna make a video if you guys want me to make a video on how to start journaling I definitely can so the things I do write in my journal, for example, is I'm grateful for the dinner, for the dinner I've had tonight. I'm grateful for my shower. I'm grateful that I'm able to film this video for you guys. It is just, it's the little things. Once you start being grateful for the little things, the universe will gift you more things to be grateful for. And it just works like that. It just goes hand in hand. You start being grateful and you get blessed with more things to be grateful for. It's just, <sighs> okay. So I do have more, but I feel like this video is going to be pretty long. So I will definitely make a part two if you guys would like me to. And honestly, I've been enjoying this little thing. I could keep talking for years because that's just me, but I don't want to make you guys get bored. So if you enjoyed this video and you enjoy these kinds of videos, let me know some more. I can make videos on more about meditation and burning sage and essence and essential oils all of that stuff i can make more videos about my spiritual journey my journey my, me starting to journal more videos about journaling and how i plan out my goals my days planning out my content that i post for you guys on here whatever it is that you guys want me to do it does not have to be fitness related honestly i will do it i, I enjoy making these videos for you guys so please let me know let your girl know what you want me what you want me to push out for y'all because I make these videos for you guys and for myself but I make them hoping that someone will come across them 
and basically make your day better. So if you enjoyed this video, please comment down below what you liked about it and what you will change in 2021. Because we ain't got time to be the same. Okay? And really take that into consideration. New year, new me. Okay? Like, people think that's such a bad phrase to say, but it really isn't. It's time to stop being the same old you and change your life. Okay? And I'll see you guys in my next video. <laughs> Bye.